Hello, my name is Greg Clark, and today I'm going to be explaining um, some Leica DigiCat locating equipment. So just real quick about the company. Uh, Leica has been around for a long time. Uh, Leica is a European company and really specializes in exact measuring and detailed locating of any utility. They provide the total stations and the, the measuring equipment for construction companies. You see those guys on the side of the road with the tripods and things. You know, they, they do all of that. So very reputable uh, company. So what I want to show you here today is um, the 550i XF locator and then the Digitext um, 100T transmitter box. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and go over is the, the transmitter box. Um, so why would you want one of these boxes? And, and there's many reasons. Um, so what this box will do is it'll send a signal into the ground, into your utility, or into your pipe, or anything metallic that will then send a signal of your choice, either an, an 8 kilohertz or a 33 megahertz um, or higher signal into that line, which you can then trace with your locator. So let's go ahead and set that up and, and show it how it works. Now you do have to forgive me, I'm just holding the cell phone. Uh, Joe asked me to make this video, and so this is the best thing that I can do. All right, so here's the box, um, transmitter box. I'm just open it right up. All right, what you see here, you've got, uh, I believe it's a 4C batteries, 40 hour battery life on this piece of equipment. Um, so basic instructions and things like that. So the first thing, what I'm gonna do is we're going to locate um, deductively, meaning we're going to attach it directly to something. So what it comes with, and it's normally right here inside this box, but it's a set of cables, black and red, and then a grounding rod, okay? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I will flip up my, my little doohickey here, and I will plug in my cables. And then I will take my grounding rod, stick it in the ground, just to get a good ground. And that's not in order to make the equipment work, it's just to protect yourself from any type of, you know, electric shock or any possibility like that. You don't have to have the grounding rod. I've had guys take a, um, an extension cord and then just put three prongs of the cord into the ground and then put a piece of wire or something in the other end and then clip this to it just to ground it. I mean, it's not necessary to make it work, but safety is good. So just clip it to that. And then you're gonna take the, uh, the red, the positive here, and we're here at my, uh, my gas line. And I'm just gonna clip this directly to the, um, the tracer wire that's found inside most gas lines. So this is clearly just showing it for a gas line, but there's lots of tracers and, and water lines and things like that. Well, it's more gas, but it electrifies anything metallic. So you got a sewer machine that has a 100 foot of cable Send the sewer machine on down. You need to find out where the end of it is, or you want to trace the pipe completely, all the 90s across the yard. Just hook this thing up to your cable, send a signal, and trace the entire line that way. So, really convenient. All right, next thing we're going to do, you don't have to close this, but I'm just going to so you can see. Um, power on. Going to turn off that annoying sound. And then if you see here in this blue, there's um, these different signals. There's the 33 kilohertz, the 8 kilohertz, 512 kilohertz, and the 640 kilohertz. Now in this box, the 100T, it actually only does the uh, 33 and the 8. Um, on the plumbing side of things, there's really no reason to get the more advanced that has these other frequencies. The, bent, the reason for those is so that you could trace like a, like a power line or something underground up to a mile to two miles. So there's really no reason that you would ever use that. Um, so over here on the side, just have the signal strength. Um, you can see the lights. So we're going to be at full signal strength, um, just a weaker signal and a medium and a stronger. The reason you want to change this around is with this gas line, it's probably you know only a few feet under the ground. And so if I send full signal, it's going to put a lot in there, and my locator might just read you know, the max 999 numbers. I mean, super high numbers, and it's not really going to give me an accuracy when I'm trying to find it. So I'll just turn it down a little bit to give me some lower numbers when I locate. But uh, so as you can see here, this light, it says we're plugged in. And so I'm going to send a 33 kilohertz signal into my gas line right here. Go ahead and grab my locator. And we're going to go over that a little bit. Wipe off my screen. It is raining. I can't see very well. Okay. All right. So locator. 
Sorry about that. Okay. Hold the button down. We have all different types of frequencies and signals here. We can see there's the 8. This first one here with this little electric signal going down, that traces power. We'll do that in a minute. We'll trace the underground power line um, that's across the driveway here and then through the yard. The next signal here actually traces underground utilities like uh, telephone, um, things like that on a slower frequency. Okay. Then we have the 8 kilohertz, which we could have set the machine to 8 kilohertz. And if we did, it would be going off like crazy right now. I'm going to switch it to the 33, and it's going to start going off on us because it's picking up um, the, uh, the sewer tracer wire. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the 33. And as you can see, my numbers are all over. See that high signal? The signal strength is pretty high on that box, but I know where it's going. I mean, it's kind of going along here, then it's going up this way. So we're just going to move a few feet away. Even though when it's connected directly like that, you do not need to move far away. Um, only when we do it in the inductive, and I'll show that in a minute. Um, so I'll go over here, I'll set this to my 33, and then we're just going to go back and forth. See how it goes down? 380, 410, it's getting higher, 507, 506. You know, so, you know, so there's my highest, my highest peak point right there, 959. Now, in order to know the direction of your pipe, with this frequency, you see how I was tracing it back and forth this way, and I was finding the line, right? And there it is. Now, if I turn my locator this direction, I'm going to start getting that sound and the numbers will generally go higher, letting me know that's the direction the pipe's going. So when you're tracing a utility through the 33 or the 8, you hold the, um, you know, you turn it to get that higher signal. And the utility is 90 degrees of the pipe. When we're chasing the camera, it's directly in line with the locator. All right, so we know that's right here. We're at the 90 degrees. There's my dip, my, my max. On this button right here, I'm going to hold this down for uh, about two seconds and it's going to give me the depth. I am on an incline here so I, it's going to be it's going to read deeper the higher I go. Um, that's how my my uh, gas line was laid. But I'm going to go and get to hit that peak signal. There's our sound and I can just keep checking my depth. Just hold this down for about two seconds and that'll check your depth. So that's what we call the deductive locate through the clips and the cables. All right. Um, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is the inductive locating. All right, so inductive locating. Take the box, unhook the cables from it, go ahead and put it directly up against this, uh, this gas line here. Um, we know this is a tracer wire going through it. So what's going to happen is we turn the box on. I'm going to turn off our annoying sound again. I'm going to turn the signal down a little bit. All right, we're going to go ahead and, and just stick it with the same 33. And what's happening now, as you can see, it's, it's showing that it's radiating the signal. So what's going on under the box is it's sending the signal directly into the ground, into that tracer line right there. If the gas pipe was all the way metal, it would completely um, I'll put that signal through the, the entire line. Now, because we are shooting off the signal, when we start locating like this, the inductive, we need to step about six, seven, eight feet away from the box just so that the locator doesn't get all crazy because it's going to pick up a reading if I'm right here because it's sending out the signal. And the signal comes in a figure eight pattern like this. Um, so the strongest is going to be right in the middle of this box. If I turn it this way, I'm sorry. You can see the arrows pointing up and down. So our signal's right here. So I'll take my locator, turn it on. I'm go ahead and see the, uh, the 33 that I'm already at. Walk a little bit away from that box. And I did turn the signal down so my numbers are different. And there we go. You know, you can just follow your sound and your highest signal point. I don't know how well you can see. There's, that's much better. So you can see my signal point there. My numbers go up and down. You just follow the signal. I'm just going to trace it for me. And again, I can hold the depth down. And it tells me, me my depth. Um, so that's how you trace inductively, and you can do that um, through any pipe, through anything that's metal. If I know for a fact there's a water line right there in the ground, and it's metal, I could take the box, set it on top of the ground right there, turn it on, set it to its frequency I want, either the 8 or the 33, 
and then I can completely trace where the pipe goes throughout the yard or throughout the, the field, um, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can clip it directly to a, you know, ductile iron, or if you remove a toilet, you can just clip it right there to the, uh, you know, to the flange, um, you know, anything metal. So, you know, it's, it could be really helpful in, uh, in tracing things out instead of just using the camera to trace. All right, let me hit pause and we'll do some stuff with the, uh, the camera locating. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, uh, this locator is the multi-frequency. <laughs> So when you're tracing your camera head, you know, in the head of the camera, you have the 512 hertz sound. So I'm going to just adjust my, um, my frequency to the 512. And then the only thing it's going to do is locate the head of that camera or the sound that's in it. And so you're just going to basically have to sweep back and forth like this until you find your highest number. I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep going this way. My camera is out of the ground. So generally it takes into account for ground pipe that it's underneath, things like that. Um, so it's gonna give me a signal right away. Um, it once it's inside the ground or in a line, it'll be a little bit less. Like you say, it's picking it up now. Um, and it's not right over it, it's just because it's not in the ground. But once I do find it, I'm gonna get that highest peak point. See, it's such a strong signal right now. Um, with the camera, when you find your peak point, in order to know the direction that you're going, you would turn it going this way. Lower numbers would be like this. Higher numbers would be like this. The higher numbers would let us know that we're facing the direction of the camera. And then once we find it, again, we just hold down the um, hold down the red button on it for about three seconds, and it'll give us give us a depth on that. It's all kind of out of whack right here, just because I'm so close to it. Like I said, it's it's not taking into account ground and things like that. But that's how you locate the camera. So it locates the camera, locates utilities. So now something else that is really useful to a lot of plumbers, um, you know, so you got your sewer camera and you push it, some guys will push it down the pipe a mile and then uh, try to locate that camera head and can't find it. All right, so what I was saying is something else that's very helpful is uh, what you can do because a lot of times, um, you know, plumbers are going to push this thing down a mile and then try to find that camera head and it took a 90 and it turned and they can't find it. So a lot of times when guys are trying to find that, that camera, you can't find it because it took a 90 somewhere and it's, you know, 40 feet out from where you think it is, okay? So you take your box, set it directly on the camera rod like this, so the camera's in the middle. Go ahead and set it to 33 or 8. I'm just going to change it to 8 only because we already did 33 just to, to do 8. Take my locator. Remember, I got to step about 8 feet away from the, from the box. Take my locator, go ahead and set myself to eight, so we're in, in line with the box. What you're gonna see now is you are gonna see my numbers fall and rise. I'm gonna get closer to this camera line. I mean, it, the signal is so powerful, I did put it on the lower one, but again, it's, let me change it to 33, maybe it's a, uh, let me lower this signal strength. All right, so I lowered the signal strength because we're getting too high of a reading. All right, sorry about that. All right, so we're back again with eight, okay? So you can see my numbers fall and my numbers drop on the locator. As I go forward here, the numbers are gonna start to pick up, okay? What happens when we get right over the camera rod and turn it in the direction? It's actually sending a signal through our entire camera rod instead of just into the sawn head itself so we can trace the camera head you can look at it close here all right so there's 89 there's my my high reading 88 86 there's 89 is my high reading right over the camera head now with this if I turn it this direction you can see that reading go down lower it actually goes down to two remember when we're tracing on these frequencies that the uh, they need to be at 90 degrees so at this we're just going with the numbers all right now it says 80, 45. That's where my line is. I'm going this way. The numbers drop way down. So we know we're here on it, but that's not the direction. So 90 degrees is the direction. And then we can actually just trace our entire camera, camera line instead of having to only use the 512 to trace the camera head. So I hope that was useful um, about how to do that. It's very helpful in the, in the field um, so guys can actually trace the whole line instead of just the camera head kind of the same as sticking a sewer machine down there and then you clip the clips to the of the box 
to your cable. All right, real quick, we will go ahead and go over uh, power. So the first setting I had on there was the uh, the power setting. I do know that there's a power line right here, so uh, we'll just go ahead and go over that. But so as you see, my I'm at 40, and we're just gonna walk this way until we get to that high number. Up, oh, back a little bit, three five. So we get to our top signal. 123 there and that's as simple as you know just tracing same as tracing your camera um, you just back and forth on this and you just find that highest number so when you're doing it in this mode it's tracing at 60 hertz that's what the power sends off so once you find it you can continue tracing in that power mode or to give yourself a little distance and possibly a little bit better accuracy you can find the power line take the box put the box on top over where you know it is and then set it to like 33 or 8 and then trace it that way so you can always make sure see if there's power around things like that and then again the uh, second one there is the um, utility for like a like a phone um, so you can also trace that as well so really if you're you know a plumber and you're doing any type of camera work underground work digging I mean you need to know what's going on and this equipment is very useful um, fortunately, it's, uh, it's actually not that expensive. Um, this, uh, Digicat 550i is, uh, $1,395. And, uh, I mean, you know, that's a lot of money, but, um, Electric Eel, we actually sell one as well that doesn't have all the features, doesn't have extra frequency, and it's $1,395. So, um, this company with the warranty, um, you know, it's a lifetime warranty on the calibration, things like that, manufacturer's defects, standard two years. Um, same with the box. Um, they've been around. They're reputable. And one of the biggest things is over there in Europe, there is no 811. So they can't call to, to come out and locate. So in Europe, every single contractor, plumbing, electrician, whatever, they have to have this equipment because they have to know what's under the ground. Um, and because if there's a mistake made, it's on them. So one of this company's biggest things is the accuracy of the trace of the depth and all of that so there's a lot of experience and a lot of different mindset than here in the united states with this equipment that it has to be perfect um 1395 dollars 880 dollars for this box and then the carry bag i don't know if you saw that in the video it's 110 dollars so you're about with tax and everything i believe about 2500 dollars for the setup um, you can get them as a kit you can buy them each separately if you're just tracing the camera, you can get this, but really tracing the camera line and having the option to do everything else, um, getting both of them is, is a pretty smart idea. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, send this video to Joe so he can send it to you. Thank you.